Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. And leave a comment below on anything that you want to see me review, as in um, movies, shows, products. I'm free game for anything. And, um, yeah. And we can also talk about the topic down below. Anyway, so today I'm going to review the first season of Batwoman from the CW. <clears throat> okay, so this right here is an absolutely incredible case. I think that they did a solid job with the promotional artwork and the pro and the promo and the posters. And let me tell you on Blu-ray it looks fan freaking tastic on my 4K TV. And yeah. So Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, so it says, A new hero is here. Kate Kane never planned to be Gotham's newest vigilante. But with Batman mysteriously AWOL, the police department has become weak and outgunned by criminal gangs. So, Crow's security, run by Kate's father, Jacob Kane, now protects the city with militia-style firepower. When the psychotic Alice and her Wonderland gang kidnap Sophie Moore, Kate's ex-girlfriend, who's now a top officer at Crow's, Kate has no choice but to step up. With the help of her compassionate stepsister, Mary Hamilton, and the crafty Luke Fox, Kate dons cape and cowl to continue the legacy of her missing cousin, Bruce Wayne, um, as Batwoman. These 20 thrilling episodes follow Gotham's newest symbol of hope as she struggles to overcome her own demons in order to save the city and the people she loves. Okay. So that's the synopsis of season one, <clears throat> and it really describes it really well, actually, in the grand kickoff of things. So um, this is part of the Arrowverse that the CW has created, Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, um, Black Lightning, and soon to be Superman and Lois, and Batwoman. So, this, this show, they, so, one of the writers of the Vampire Diaries wrote the story for this, Caroline Dries, and, um, it stars Ruby Rose as the, as Batwoman, and, um, Rachel Scarston is Alice, and um my favorite character is mary actually mary and alice are actually my two favorite characters for drastically different reasons <clears throat> so this is a better dark and broody moody show than arrow in my opinion well okay so it only has one season so i can't say that overall it's a better show but season one of Batwoman is way better than the first season of Arrow, in my opinion. Everyone has different opinions, but this is mine. I think that they did a really strong first season, and it's such a shame that the COVID pandemic happened because they had to cut um, the season short by two episodes. Um and they had so much story that they were telling and stuff, and um, everybody was on their game. I just loved everything about it. It was something different. Because, like, Arrow's basically... A, a, so, the show Arrow is basically Batman's story <laughs> in so many ways. Um... But that's a story for a different day. This is way more original than that. Um, and it told its own story. And um, 
I, I love it because <sighs> there's so many different things I can say that I want to say about this um, show. Um, first of all, they did absolutely stunning on the the costume, obviously. Oh, I'll show you the bag too because that is completely... <sighs> they did a great job anyway <clears throat> so you have Kate Kane who's Batwoman um Mary is her stepsister and um Mary is my favorite favorite the writers touch a hair in her head and there's gonna be problems anyway um and <laughs> Rachel Scarston okay <laughs> We're going to have to talk about this for a second. <clears throat> so in order for shows to be really great and stand out like this one does is because they really wrote a rich, deep history about not only the hero, but the villain. The villain is a tragic character, which is always my favorite. Not because I love seeing obviously somebody go through the crap that they went through but it in a lot of ways not justifies but makes it more understandable from their perspective why they do what they do um and alice is first introduced as really crazy insane rachel scarston does she is a standout on this show um she is one of the she is one of the best um arrowverse villains uh, like across the board in all of the dc shows the arrowverse shows that the cw has alice is just she sticks out like a sore thumb she's incredible rachel scarston really owned alice um and i really loved rachel scarston when she was in rain as Queen Elizabeth I. So I've been a fan. Um, so, and she was also on, oh my God, she was Valkyrie on, <sighs> yep, he'll come to me later. But anyway, yes. So she's played like a variety of different types of characters, and I love her work. Um, so it was really exciting to see her go from Rain to Alice. Total transformation. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, this is not on Netflix yet. Um, as far as I know, it's on HBO Max, which I don't have. So obviously I, I bought this and I want this anyway, so... I I bought it because I, I don't want to stream. I like physical copies of things. Um, like I will have music downloaded to my phone and everything, but I still own the albums because I, I if I lose, I, I don't know. It's just something about having a physical copy of what you love, you know, it's, I just can't describe it. I'd rather have CDs than an MP3 player. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, I'm really weird like that when it comes to streaming. I'd rather have a physical copy than streaming. I do wholeheartedly love the whole streaming thing when it comes to The Mandalorian. And Netflix has... So many shows and movies and stuff. So obviously I do love that. <clears throat> and how they're all under one place. But when it comes to something that I really love. I want a physical copy of it. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. It's weird. I know that a lot of people feel that way too. So I know I'm not the only one out there. <clears throat> but I do highly, highly recommend Batwoman. Um, she had such a great season. Ruby Rose is unfortunately, unfortunately, like there's a, dual, a duality to 
that statement because she was really good. I, I didn't like her as Kate, but I loved her as Batwoman. Is that weird? I don't know. Just like a lot of people liked Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, but not Batman, which I can see that because he's not Batman. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It's just really weird things like that. Um, they did recast, not recast, sorry. They didn't recast the character. Um, so Ruby Rose quit after the season or left the show and, um, they hired on an actress to play a different character who's going to don the Batwoman outfit because the original Batwoman disappeared and it, they instead of like writing her off or killing off Kate's character um they made her disappearance a vital important plot point for season two so that's I'm so interested in that because I have no doubts that they're gonna have an incredible storyline because Caroline Dries is just a really excellent writer obviously she worked on the Vampire Diaries um <clears throat> But she did so good with this, and um, I really loved Ruby Rose's Batwoman, not Kate Kane, because I, I feel like she was annoying and made a lot of stupid decisions, especially when it came to Mary and her, and um, just different things, how she handled different situations, and um, yeah, I just, no. Um, Batwoman is way better. <clears throat> so HBO Max, or you can buy the physical copy. Highly recommend it. It's a solid first season. It has fantastic um, action sequences. It has a solid story. A very detailed, rich, solid story. Um, so much was flushed out, even in the first season. And... Um, yeah, it was so cool, and I love how Gotham looks like an actual city. Um, not to take anything away from the Batman movies and all that stuff, but I, I really do love the Gotham that's in this show. It is still gloom and doom, but it's not like as, I don't know, it's just not as, uh, like futuristic-y, uh, if that's even a word. Like, it, it just does not resemble... That's not how I would picture Batman living in a city like he does in the Tim Burton movies and stuff. Not saying anything bad about Tim Burton. Absolutely fantastic director and everything. Just his legend, obviously. And Michael Keaton was my Batman of my childhood, so... And Val Kilmer did really excellent, too. Don't care about George Clooney being Batman. Don't care about Ben Affleck being Batman. Um, Christian Bale was... He was good. Um, so I'm actually really excited about Robert Pattinson as Batman, too, because he's an excellent actor... And people just see him for the Twilight movies, and that's totally not his... That doesn't even touch on Robert Pattinson's talent as an actor. Um, even though he did good in those movies, um, there are so many other movies that he was incredible in. Um, but anyway, getting off track here, make sure you check it out. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers away from, you know about it you have to watch it for yourself um like i said oh so it's on hbo max you can buy a physical copy like i did and it is on the cw app i believe the whole season actually you can stream it on the cw app it does have ads but that is what pays for the show so anyway um yeah i just i can't get over how incredible this looks and such um, I really hope that they I really hope that they don't drop the ball 
with the second season because they did get a new actress to play a different character, but it is going to be Batwoman. I really hope that they come out with the same, not the same, but the, the, I hope that they stay on the same lines as this. Like, I hope that they still, um, really keep the artistic input that went behind the promotional stuff and the show, obviously, is going to have the same people. But when it comes to the promotional stuff and getting the job done, I think that they did fantastic. I, I think that that's actually better than any Batman cover I've seen, so... And those were theatrical movies that were on big budgets. This is on a CW, or this is on the CW network. A very small network, but amazing network. And, um, yeah, so you don't have to have the biggest budgets to make quality. Quality over quantity. And that's what the CW does. So, and they obviously did it with, with Batwoman. So I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see... I hope that they have more crossovers between her and Supergirl because I like their little dynamic thing that they have going on. So anyway, um, make sure you check it out. And let me know in the comments section um, what you want me to review next and um, what you actually think about this show because I really do love this show. Um, so far, I have, it has so much potential to go anywhere. There's so much potential, and it's already great, so just keep it going. So, yeah. Um, until next time, guys, have a great day.